Adjustable kettlebells serve a solid purchase for anyone with a home gym. Not only are they gonna save you money compared to buying a full set of traditional kettlebells, but they're also gonna save you a ton of space. There's a lot of options out there to choose from. One of the most popular ones is the Bowflex Select Tech 840 adjustable kettlebell. It's gonna replace six individual kettlebells. It's super easy for you to adjust the weight, and it's also one of the easiest ones for you to get your hands on. We got a lot to talk about today, so let's go ahead and get right to it. What's up everybody, it's Jake back in the Barbin Garage Gym and this time around we've got the Bowflex Select Tech 840 adjustable kettlebell in the garage for review. Now, if you don't know how this video is going to work today, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this kettlebell. We're going to talk about the price, we're going to talk about the features, we're going to go over some of my pros and cons, but most importantly we're going to talk about who should or maybe should not add this to their home gym setup. Now, before I start talking my head off and doing all of that, I gotta let you know, we've reviewed a ton of kettlebells on barbend.com, and we also made a best list. If you wanna check out our top picks, all you gotta do is search barbend, best kettlebells, it'll pull right up for you. You can go over everything. Okay, so Bowflex has a lot going on with the 840 that I like, and I wanna talk about that for just a second. And first of all, I think we have to talk about the amount of floor space you're gonna be saving. That's because this kettlebell replaces six individual kettlebells, weight ranging from eight to 40 pounds. That's honestly a really solid number for the majority of beginner athletes, maybe some intermediate ones as well. And also if you're just new to kettlebell training, this can be a pretty solid weight range for you. It's really easy for you to adjust the weight, just simply twist this knob right here. I could do this this whole video, it's honestly kind of fun and it sounds good. A little ASMR going on here today at Barbin. But honestly, that's, that's just a really nice thing. It makes it super quick and easy, you know, in between sets, you know, if you're working out with a partner, you know, they have, you know, need heavier or lighter weight than you, that's gonna be a really nice thing for you. It's honestly pretty comfortable on your wrist and on your forearm right here, which is a really nice thing because there's so many kettlebell workouts that require it, you know, to be in that racked position and, you know, sitting there on you. It's also pretty competitively priced at around 150 bucks, and you can purchase it, you know, through the Bowflex website, on Amazon, or even just at your local sporting goods store. So, you know, that's just another really solid thing going for it, in my opinion. All right, so let's talk about a few potential cons you may experience with the Bowflex 840. And first of all, we gotta talk about the available weight. So yeah, I just got done saying, you know, eight to 40 pounds is pretty solid for, you know, a good amount of people, but there's also a, you know, a good amount of people that 40 pounds is not gonna be enough. And, you know, there's even some exercises with myself that I need more than 40 pounds. So definitely keep that in mind, you know, this might not be the best option, you know, basically, because of that. Also, you know, the handle right here is pretty slick in my opinion, and it's also welded to the top of the kettlebell right here, and it's pretty thin, so definitely keep that in mind. There's a ton of plastic used right here. Now, the actual, here, I'll go ahead and pick this up right here, and as you can see, these plates, these are steel plates, but, you know, on the outside, that is plastic, and then everything else right here is plastic, everything. The, little mechanism on the inside. Now these walls are pretty thick, so I don't really think that durability is gonna be, you know, too much of an issue, but it also says, you know, on the top right here, do not drop, and that's because it's plastic. So, you know, if you're working on, you know, working out on like rubber flooring, that might be okay, but definitely, you know, you don't wanna be dropping this bad boy too much, especially if you're working out on side, on concrete or anything. And, you know, that's kind of hard to do. You know, there's a lot of kettlebell workouts where, you know, you kind of drop it or, just setting it on the ground, you know, pretty violently, I guess you could say. So durability could be, you know, a pretty big issue for some people. So you definitely want to keep that in mind as well. Okay, so let's talk about some money now. And once again, the Bowflex Select Tech 840 is listed for right around 150 bucks. Plus shipping is free and I think we all enjoy free stuff. Now, Compared to the rest of the market, you know, this is a pretty fair price. Yeah, there's some that are cheaper. I don't know, you know, about the quality of those. This is actually pretty, you know, 
pretty quality product considering there is a good amount of plastic involved right here. Now there's also some that are gonna be way more expensive, but those are gonna be, you know, cast iron or, you know, basically fully full metal build for the most part at least. Now, when comparing, you know, this purchase to traditional kettlebells, this is gonna save you a whole lot of money. You know, obviously with a full set, but even with the eight to 40 pound range, which, which again, you know, that's what you're getting right here. So if you are, you know, wanting a compact option, works across all your lifts, and you know, saves you money, this is a really good option for you to consider. Okay, so let's talk about the build now and some of the features with the Bowflex 840. And I wanna go top down. So starting with this handle, it's definitely under 30 millimeters in diameter. Now, I don't know the exact diameter, but it's pretty thin. Now, it's also pretty slick in your hands and it's welded to the top of the kettlebell right here, which, you know, for that to actually, you know, come into effect, durability issues and that weld to, you know, deteriorate on you, it's gonna take a really long time, a lot of heavy usage, but, you know, that's, not ideal for everybody out there. So, you know, definitely keep that in mind. So right here though, this is the only metal, you know, that is involved. Everything else is plastic, including this adjustment mechanism, which honestly is really easy for you to do. Simply twist it. It's gonna go from eight to 40 pounds in just a matter of seconds. And I actually like how it's 360 and there's actually, you know, two options for every single weight. That makes sense. So you got eight pounds right here. If you keep going, you know, and then you got your 40 right here, and then it goes right back to age. Just, you know, it's kind of a nice touch. Now, let's go ahead and lift this bad boy up. As you can see, you know, fully plastic right here, even this actual stem, you know, whatever you want to call it, that mechanism. Now, it does kind of wobble. It's a little loose right here, and I don't know if that's going to be, you know, detrimental in the long run with the actual product itself, but it's definitely something that I noticed, so keep that in mind. Now, once again, you don't want to drop this, right? It's, it's plastic. You, know, you run the risk of it breaking. It even says on the top, do not drop, but it's just pretty thick. So, you know, if there is the occasional accidental drop. And I don't think it's going to break the first time that that happens. I do like how there is some rubber right here, four little pieces of rubber. It's going to be nice as you got to set it down. It's going to protect your flooring, which is cool. Now, these plates on the inside, they're steel, but it's plastic on the outside. And so, there's just a whole lot of plastic, you know, I, I'm not too crazy about that. That's probably, you know, gonna wear down. And obviously you're gonna have to use it a whole lot for that to really take place and you know, take effect, but you definitely run that risk more so than compared to, you know, a kettlebell that only you know, uses steel, for example. But overall, this is a really nice design. It's super compact. And I like how everything just kind of stacks right here. And you have a little cradle right here. You definitely, here, let me go ahead and put this on 40 and pull this out. So you got your little stand, cradle, whatever you want to call it right here. This is also plastic. So whenever you go and, and house it, definitely want to be careful because well, you don't want to break that either. All right, so I want to go ahead and give you guys the full demo with the Bowflex 840. And I'm gonna reiterate, you know, a lot of things I just talked about a second ago, but I wanna show you up close. All right, so let's talk about the handle first. Once again, this is under 30 millimeters in diameter, so it's, it's pretty narrow, and it's also pretty slick. Now, it could probably come in handy, you know, whenever you put it in that front rack position, you're kind of rotating it in your hands, but overall, it's you know, not my cup of tea, I guess you could say, because it kind of makes me feel like my hands are sweaty even when they're not, so definitely keep that in mind. Also, you know, it's welded to the top of the kettlebell right here. And it's typically not what you're looking for with a kettlebell because it kind of runs the risk of, you know, accelerated wear and tear. I personally think it's gonna take a really long time, but that's still something, you know, worth, you know, having at the forefront of your mind. Also, you know, this is the only steel that's involved in this entire build. Other than the weighted plates, I'll talk about those in just a second. But yeah, everything else is in fact plastic, including the outer shell right here. So you definitely don't want to drop it. It says on the top of the you know, adjustment mechanism, do not drop. Definitely, you know, don't do that. Occasionally might be fine, but don't do that a lot. Now, once again, it's super easy for you to adjust the weight. You kind of got a rubbery, you know, texture right here on this dial. And you just twist it and twist it and twist it and twist it and twist it. It's honestly kind of fun to do. Now, go ahead and pull this out. As you can see, all your weight plates are, you know, stacked nicely right here. And they're not the same weight, okay? So this weighs eight pounds on its own. 
Then, you know, this is four pounds because you jump to 12 pounds total. Then you're jumping to 20, 25, 35, 40. So, you know, it's all, it's all varying right there in weight. And, you know, these are in fact steel on the inside, but they're, you know, coated in plastic. So, you know, it, over time, you know, especially with, you know, the, the stem, I guess, I guess is what you want to call it in here, that is probably going to wear down, but it still might only, that still might take you 10 years or so. So you're going to get, you know, a lot of usage out of this kettlebell. Now, let's talk about this stem. It kind of wobbles a little bit right here, and I'm not, like, you know, using a whole lot of effort. I don't know if that's really going to, you know, negatively impact you in the long run. Just something worth mentioning. And I know I just said, you know, don't drop it. You definitely shouldn't, but this is pretty thick. This plastic is pretty thick right here. So you do have that occasional drop. It's going to happen from time to time. You know, it's, it's kind of you know, the inevitable with a kettlebell. I think it's going to hold up. I don't really want to go outside, especially on, on concrete. I don't really want to just sit here and test that and, and break my new toy, <laughs> but you know, it's definitely, you know, I think it can handle at least some beating. And then, you know, you have some rubber right here on the bottom. That's really nice. I like that it's actually built into the actual the shell of the kettlebell rather than being on the bottom plate. There's some out there that, you know, only have that rubber coating on that bottom plate. And you're not always using that. So it's really nice how, you know, that's always going to protect your flooring, which is really cool. And then you just set it down right here on the top and then you're good to go. Now, whenever you have it on 40 pounds and you want to, you know, say you move it outside for a nice outdoor workout, whenever you pull this out, you are going to have to make a separate trip. You know, just to get your, you know, your cradle right here. And this is pretty, you know, fragile. This is pretty, some pretty fragile plastic. So whenever you do have 40 pounds, really, I guess any time, just be careful and don't slam it down because you definitely will run the risk of cracking that. And you just you know, certainly do not want that to happen. Okay, so let's take a second and talk about, you know, who should or maybe should not purchase this kettlebell. And I want to talk about the people who should first. Now, you know, if you live in an apartment and, you know, you don't have all the space in the world for a bunch of equipment, or maybe just, you know, your home gym is kind of small, or maybe you're just wanting, you know, a kettlebell to take on a trip with you. This is a really solid option. You know, it's really compact. It's going to replace six individual kettlebells, weight up to 40 pounds. I mean, this is, this is a pretty, pretty solid option. For a lot of people and also it's relatively affordable you know it's about 150 bucks you know, that is because there is a lot of plastic involved right here but for somebody who doesn't want to spend you know more than 150 bucks more than 200 bucks you know whatever this is you know really really solid for you now let's transition to you know who shouldn't purchase this and we got to talk about the weight range first you know, i said earlier you know 40 pounds is a pretty solid weight range you know specifically for you know beginners to you know some intermediate lifters but if you need more than 40 pounds, then well, you're gonna have to go elsewhere. You cannot expand on this. Bowflex does not have you know, a heavier adjustable kettlebell. So definitely keep that in mind. And then also, you know, it's the plastic. You know, plastic is you know, not ideal for everybody. You know, if you're somebody who you know, is probably gonna be a little bit rough with your kettlebells, well, this really just isn't gonna be the product for you. All right, that's all I got for y'all today on the Bowflex Select Tech 840 adjustable kettlebell. I know I've been talking a lot about you know, how much plastic is involved and the fact that this only caps out at 40 pounds, but I honestly enjoy this product. It's super easy for you to adjust the weight. It's gonna replace six individual kettlebells and it's only 150 bucks, which is a really nice thing. Thanks for watching y'all. I hope this video was really helpful and that I was able to answer every single question you have about this kettlebell. As always, keep your eyes peeled for my next video but for now, I want you to head over to Barbin because we have a full written article ready for you to go. It's going to pop up right here in the corner, but you can always just search Barbin Bowflex Select Tech 840 Adjustable Kettlebell Review. It's going to pull right up for you. I'll catch you all next time.